Okay, we're gonna head downstairs, and there's a gauntlet of enemies down there. We have to kick their ass, and uh, excuse me, and then uh, we'll see what's next. I think we go to yeah. I remember where we go next. I totally remember where we go. A fire poker. That's new. I don't think I've used the fire poker yet. I can't pick that up. You missed. Nice. Took them all out with just a machine gun. Sadly, I'm full of pistol ammo. That worked pretty well. Let's heal up. Very good. Yes, I would assume the Tommy gun is quite loud on purpose. I wanted to make a ruckus. All right, so now we head down the street. I'm wondering Looks if there's like a the Lan Yap hidden in this area and we missed it in the first run. Let's find out. I remember an item around here somewhere. Yes, here it is. The backyard has some items in it. Machine gun. And machine gun. And killing and machine gun. So let's reload the machine gun. Sweet. I think that's it, though. I think there was something else here, too. It might have been a long yap, but we already got it in the first run. But lots of ammo, so that's good. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else over here. Oh, wait! More machine gun ammo! Even more! But we're fully loaded. Okay. <clears throat> good, good. I don't see anything else. I don't think we're knocking this wall down. So, in we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> For this missing lanyap, right? Emma. It looks like maybe something that would be in this building. It looks like a collectible or something, but I don't know. Let's look around. Could it be something in this building that we missed the first run? Anything there? Huh? There was a poster with Lan Yap. I remember because I came in here and I said, Oh, look, there's another poster on the wall. It's the same as the Lan Yap. No, I don't, I don't see anything, right? I commented on, geez, there's like a million, uh, million steps here. I said it was a stupid building to be built like that. <laughs> You shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dissetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at this chateau. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Hmm. Probably true. It's probably why they're Help all there. I get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. <gasps> I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know. That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Hmm. Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. 
What is there to be done about the Dark Man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The Dark Man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. See, it's not really I the Dark Man. I recognized him for what he was. The heart with guys embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn. But I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. <clears throat> Whitest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. What the hell? What can be done, Jeremy? Please. There's a way. Two ways, to be exact. One worse than the other. A written contract, now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> Don't want to. Mm -hmm. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. <laughs> so now that I'm doing the second run, I think I'm understanding the story a little more. So when he was a kid, okay, he went to a so magic show. Okay, so there's a way show. to break the pact at least. Hidden somewhere inside the dark man's temple. I just need to find it somehow. So when he was a kid, he went to a magic show. This is the representation of the magic show in his memory. The mag the magician was called uh Black Pharaoh. That's what the magician was called. And he saw that magician as almost like a god or an embodiment of evil. And he thought, oh, our family's cursed. Remember, the storyline is that the Heartwoods all go crazy at some point. And so he saw that magician as the embodiment of, like, madness or evil. Almost like a demon. So he started calling him the Dark Man. So in his mind, there is a boogeyman. Okay? There is a boogeyman out to get the Heartwood family. And he calls that guy the Dark Man. That's who we're seeing moving around the game. But he's not real. He's the embodiment of fear or evil in Jeremy's mind, okay? What he said was, he and his father were at this magic show. That night, his father lost his mind and committed suicide. He bit his own tongue off and bled to death. So, of course, in his mind, there's something supernatural about what happened at this magic show. So, in his mind, he's made a pact with a demon to stop the evil that's happening at their setup. Now, in reality, at this point in the game, you have no idea what he's talking about. You find out about what that evil is at the end of the game. So there really is something going on at their setup. The question is, does the Dark Man really exist, or is this all just a fiction of Jeremy's imagination? And also, how is Jeremy using his imagination to, to make all these things come to life? It's, it's never really explained. How? So we've got... Gemini. It's one is Gemini, one is Pisces, and one I think is Virgo. Perhaps. Oops. One is Pisces, one is Gemini, one is Virgo. I was correct. So it's two, three, four, five. It's two, five. Seven. Two, five, and seven. It's a combination of two, five, and seven. No, wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two, five, eight. Two, five, eight is the combination. We just don't know the order. Okay? By the way, I'm looking everywhere. You guys saw. I'm looking everywhere, and I don't see a line yap in here. I thought it would be here, but I'm not seeing it. I thought yeah, maybe it would be on this table, just sitting there, right? Like a, coll a collectible. Nothing, right? So I don't know where this missing Lanyap is, but I have not encountered it yet. So far, we got two out of the three that we're missing from the Carnby run. Okay, so we're going to do the puzzle, but I got a couple uh, contributions that came in. 
I received a dollar tip from Kirk. Let me slip you a little something something to get me entrance into a nightclub via your chat room. No, you're not coming back to the chat, but thank you, Kirk, for a dollar tip. I received a $10 tip. It says Win XP Phone. That's the name of the person, I assume. Thank you, Win XP Phone. I'm not did they ever make a Windows XP phone? I don't think they ever did, did they? Alright, so thank you for a $10 tip, Windows XP phone. Cool. And as I was shouting that out, it looks like a second $10 tip has come through. Yorichi says, I will watch the videos when they go live. Thank you, Yorichi. I know you were here in the chat earlier. Uh, I couldn't talk to you because we were in the middle of an action-packed segment, right? Fighting off all those guys. But thank you so very much for the $10 tip. That will get us up to $24 in tips tonight in support. Thank you. That is, that's what we've got tonight. That's it. Nothing else to shout out. No super chats. That's why there's nothing on the leaderboard. Um, thank you guys for that. I'm still going to be going for about another hour here tonight. FYI. Okay? Cool. So it was 258 was the combination. Two five eight it is. We're going to Egypt, boys. This is what I mean. In his mind, he thinks that there's some kind of a weird agreement with a demon or the embodiment of evil to, to stab off whatever's going on at Derceto. In reality, he's probably just crazy. And, you know, this doesn't really exist. But then the question is, then, how is he manifesting all of these things from his memory into the real world? And how is Emily and and or Carnby seeing them? That we don't know. It's not really explained as of yet. Yeah. Sales is glad you're making good progress with the run. Oh, yeah. We're going real, real far. We're going to beat this Egypt part tonight. And then I think we get back to the two Dirceto. I think that's chapter... Uh, Chapter eight, 4. By the way, we just had an eclipse on Monday, and here's the eclipse in the game. It's funny because we did this over the, I think, last week in this game, right before the real eclipse happened in real life, and now here we are, right after the eclipse happened in real life. We're seeing it. The thing is, eclipses are fast, correct? Don't the eclipses only last like a minute or something like that? It's not a long time of period. This one's just a permanent eclipse. The moon refuses to move. So eclipses don't really act like this. <laughs> if this were happening in real life like this, people would be freaking out. Like, why the fuck did the moon just freeze in place? What is happening? <laughs> so maybe the lawn yaps at this ca camp? I need to get down there somehow. The rope. Let's make sure we don't miss a lawn yap here. I don't think there is one here, though, because we were very thorough with, with... So far, the two that we found with Emily were in little hidden areas we didn't know existed. They weren't out in the open like this. Here's the camp. Oh. I was trying to get what was in the chest, but I guess there was nothing, so they gave me the rope instead. <laughs> What's this? Beyond the Nile the Valley. The Temple of Nephron Car lies under our camp. We read that in the first one. Uh, do I plan on watching the next eclipse? I don't know. I don't. I, I, it's doubtful I'll ever be able to see eclipse from where I, I live. So. The sales says, didn't some ancient cultures use the eclipse as a good omen or a bad omen? Yes. They always thought it was... I mean, they didn't know what this was. They didn't know the moon moving in front of the sun. So they always thought it was some crazy supernatural sign of something, you know, otherworldly or, or godlike or religious, you know. They always turned natural occurrences like that that were rare into their own kind of crazy belief system. I say crazy, but I mean, if you... Didn't understand the science of it. Obviously, you try to make sense of it, right? If you believe that there's gods and stuff, I mean, obviously that's probably what you're gonna think. Oh shit! Got to fight these? 
Oh, I don't remember fighting them with Farnby. No, they fly away. We do have to fight them when we go in. Okay, you can do this, Emily. All right, that's it. We're going in. Nothing else here. Into the temple. And see, that looks like the dark man. But again, this is all in... This could all be in Jeremy's head. He invented all this, perhaps. This probably isn't real. Maybe the line you have is in here. Doesn't this look like this would be an area with a little box with like a, a valuable ring or something in it? It totally looks like that, does it not? Well, let's just check around first before we get the switch. Remember, we're going to be using the light laser beams to open these doors. I was just going to say that looks like it, and it's said, nah, it's a fucking rock. It's the constellation Taurus. The big star is Eldebaran. Something to do with the dark man. Everything's so stereotypical Egyptian in here, you know? The, the cat, the Egyptian cat on the box and shit. That's what I mean, like, I don't think it's real. I've seen this in a dream, but it's a shallow pit of darkness. This is definitely where the contract is hidden. Ah. How do I get to it? Are there bats in Washington State? I would guess there are. I would definitely think there are, but I, you know, I'm not out in the places where they would be. Shit. At least they die fast. Okay. This door opened and that's where we're going. Everything else is locked. Yep. Again, I just want to make sure because I missed... I definitely missed a long yap in my first run. I want to make sure I don't miss it here. I'm going to be super careful. What's worse, being alone in the dark or alone with your thoughts? I guess it depends on what your thoughts are. <laughs> right? I mean, if you have happy thoughts, I probably would like to be with my thoughts. If the thoughts are dark, disturbing, depressing, evil, maniacal thoughts, then probably I'd rather be alone in the dark. I don't see any items. No, I'm checking everything. I'm not seeing anything yet, so... Okay. Now, wait a minute. It showed an item, or was that the door? Maybe that was the... Ah, that's what it was. Even though this is a box, you can't open it. It was actually the door aim button icon. This, we need to put a lens mm. in. We don't have the lens yet. Hmm, there's something missing. We got the laser activated, but we still don't have the lens. I feel... Right here. There it is, the lens. So now we grab the lens, we go over here, we put the lens right here, we enter it there, and then the lens goes like that, and you go like this, you hang the lens up, you have it shoot the eyeball, and the next thing you know, the door is open, and the puzzle's complete. Faster level work right there, baby. It sucks you can't take the lens with you. Would I be willing to go late to finish this run? There's no way we can finish it tonight. There's not enough time. It's, there's, there's, remember, this is still act three. After we do this, there's a, there's Act 4 and 5. There's still too much to go to finish this. Plus, there is going to be... An, the entire final like chapter or act is new. It's not going to be the stuff I've already done, so I can't turbo through it. I have to take my time with it. Um, So, obviously, I want to have enough time. I'd probably say one to two more streams. Likely one, but maybe two. It depends on how long that final segment is with Emily. I don't know. It is going to be totally new, so... You know, I can't really speak to it. All right, so... Can't do anything with this till we have the lens. Ah, 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 ah. They literally sat right in front of me. Boom, boom, done. That's just throwable. Again, there'd be a Lon Yapter that I missed first. I don't see anything, right? No, nothing interactable. Here we've got a box, and in the box we've got absolutely nothing. I don't think there's anything in any of the boxes in this tomb. Need a lens, don't have it yet. Go back to this area over here. We do have a lamp. Ring the bell. Open the door. It worked.
Burn the bats over the door. There we go. Oh shit, where'd it come from? It was completely invisible. Killed it with one swing. I did not see that shit. Did you? I heard it, but I couldn't see. I think it was like fused in the wall or something. So if we can get across, there's the other door I just opened, and I think we could do that now. Or we can go this. I don't know what this way is locked. It's gonna go around, and I'm wondering. Do we, I don't think we want to go this. Let's go back. Maybe we can backtrack to the other door and do the other door right now. Let's find out. True. I didn't even think of it that way. Haseo says the black stream of light reminds him of the dark lightsaber from uh from the uh, Star Wars series. You I you you got something there. I believe I believe that that is a good reference. I need a lens for that. That goes up. We don't want to go up yet. We want to go the other way. Or else we're going to end up keep looping a million times. I don't want to keep looping a million times. I'll try to do this more efficiently this time around. Okay. I think the other lens is probably in here. I was right. I think this is the lens. There. Stuck. She, she can get unstuck. Carnby gets stuck and can't really get unstuck because his dodge sucks. Her dodge moves so fast and so far that she gets unstuck pretty easily. This is probably the lens. Yep, and I think we're going to use the lens out in the hallway. The star. I guess I'll take this, the Odzi weapon. Where the hell that is? Some primitive weapon. <laughs> oh, this gets to the ground floor. I don't want to go there. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm going to go back and use this lens now. Wow. 672 says there's a guy on Instagram who's eating raw chicken every day till he gets his stomach ache and he has no issues yet. Yes, because he needs to get Scaminella. Hmm. No? The star doesn't fit here. He needs to catch Salmonella. It's That's not guaranteed, though, that you're going to get Salmonella. Right? Salmonella is only if you eat a chicken that's infected with it. You, you cannot get sick by eating raw chicken from a healthy chicken. You can only get sick by eating raw chicken from a chicken that has Salmonella. Maybe people don't understand that. Did people not know that? But the problem is, there are chickens that have salmonella, and then you're going to get sick when you eat the raw chicken. That's why they always say, eat the chicken. You didn't know that? Yeah. You can eat raw chicken. It's, it's not safe, because if the chicken has salmonella, you'll get very sick. But you can eat raw chicken. It's just you're going to have the bad luck of getting the chicken with the salmonella, and then you're screwed. Just like you can eat raw eggs, but you might have one that has salmonella, and then you get sick. That's why they say to cook your eggs and cook your chicken. Nice bat. Alright, so now we can go down to the ground level and open that third one. I'm definitely doing this more efficiently than the first time, that's for sure. Open this door here. I believe this is where the other lens is. Hello. What are you finding you here? Did you guys miss me? <laughs> I think they did. I think they wanted some company.
So I have a couple shout outs to do. Hold on. We have a dollar tip that came in. From Kirk. Next eclipse is 2044. You and me might be dead via stress or nuclear apocalypse or something. I, I hope not. I hope to still be alive in 20 years. Thus, can't you find it in your heart to forgive me for saying the quiet part out loud like, like Vivek does? Uh, no. Thanks for the dollar tip. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, I also received a super chat. First super chat of the night. Uh, from Big Boss. When you were deciding to make the documentary, were there any preliminary questions that got you to remember being good, interesting, or new? See, here's the thing. Like, there's nothing that I'm going to say or do that I think would be super interesting. It's more about the angle. And essentially, this documentary that was going to be made about me... I already said all this publicly, by the way. This is no new information. But the, the documentary was going to attack it from the angle of, well, here's everything everyone says about Phil. Here's all the reasons people hate Phil, right? But in reality, are any of these even that bad? Even if they all were true, all right? Let's assume everything's true that everyone ever said about Phil. Is any of it really that bad that people should really be, like, hating him so much and, and wishing him harm and doing the things they've done to his him and his family members and all of that, right? And, and, you know, going through all of that, saying, look at all this stuff that happened to Phil and analyzing it in that perspective. Like, what's really going on that people hate Phil so much? Like, what is the reason? And it was going to it was gonna basically look at it from, like, that perspective, um, which would have been a new one because most people have never attacked it. It's just, oh, here's all the things people hate Phil for. Are they true or not? Instead of, well, you know what? Whether or not they're true or not, maybe it doesn't even matter, right? Perhaps people should just stop being fucking insane about all this bullshit. Even if it was true, who cares? None of it matters when it comes to him or his content or anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's going to be many parts to the documentary that, that were going to be unique and different, and I'm not going to spoil those because who knows, right? I'm not going to spoil all the ideas we had because we had many different ideas of ways we could attack things and, and funny, entertaining segments and things regarding the various different things that, were, that I'm accused of and shit like that. Okay, but in essence, I think that, that that's the truth of the matter is that the things that people accuse me of or are so angry about aren't actually that bad, even if they were all true, which, by the way, I've told you guys many times they're not, right? But even if you don't believe me and you think that everything that's ever been said about me is true, it's not nearly as bad as half the people out there, right? It's like, why, damn, why do people hate Phil so much? Like, what exactly is going on that they, people hate him so much? It doesn't seem to make much sense. In which case, that's correct. It doesn't. It's just basically people going crazy over obsessing or running with a meme to hate me rather than it being about, wow, I really hate this guy because he did awful things that are deserving of this level of awful hate. You know, it's, it's a very different situation. Like, some of the other people out there that are considered lol cows or, or, or people get harassed all the time on the internet, man... Some of the things they've said and did is like, wow, unforgivable, can't believe it. And I mean, it's like, really, that's all Phil ever said? That's it? That's the reason people hate him? But again, it's, I feel like it's just the meme. The meme is overpowering. To the point where, like, you can't stop the meme. The meme has become bigger than the truth, right? Like, honestly, really, let's say, for example... You look at all the things said about me that I used to be a racist and say horrible things in my commentary, which I don't anymore, but I used to, let's even say I used to be a racist, which I wasn't, but let's say it was true. Let's say I spent ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games and didn't tell anyone, right? Let's say, what's, what's the other ridiculous one? Because there's like three or four big ones, right? Let's say they're all true. Every single one of them. Are any of those a big deal? <laughs> right? In reality... It's funny because you have people who've done entire documentaries about me, like Turkey Tom. And literally at the end of the negative documentary he makes, he says, but Phil, I don't even get it because Phil's kind of boring. I don't get the big deal. He's right. Like, he's literally 100% right. There's nothing super interesting about the hate against me besides that it exists. I think more fascinating than whether the hate is, is, is warranted or real would be why are people so obsessed with me, right? Like, what has caused this level of obsession, right? That's what I, I would love to hear. People study the people who hate me, but why on earth are they so obsessed with me? 
out of all the things I've said and done, what is it that triggered them that they want to fucking hurt me and my family and do weird shit? It's just fucking bizarre, and it's out of hand, right? Um, and that's the thing, like, the whole idea of entertaining the hate against me. Like, let's have people come on camera and talk about the hate and why they hate me and what I've done over the years that's worth that, that, that they don't like, right? But then, at the end of the day, analyze it from perspective of what is really going on here that, you know, that, that has gotten to the level of mania, right? I think that would have been a great one. And, uh, and again, there were some other fun things we were going to do, some ideas we had that, obviously, you know, we're not doing now at this point anyway. Uh, that I think people would have really liked with this documentary. Again, different perspectives. They were going to be there from my past. They talked about me and their interactions with me in the past that you've never seen before. Like, that was going to be some of the appeal. You can only go so far with the same exact information. And right now, literally for four to five years, people have just been using the same exact information to hate on me. Right? So now it's the point where it's like, what well, something happened? new has to happen to be interesting, but it's not. It's just stagnant. Five years of bullshit, the same shit. So, the whole point of the documentary was, yeah, outline that, but show other things that aren't things that people know or perhaps would be a different take, right? You lost quite a bit of that because the audio was too loud. Well, sorry about that. I forgot that the game audio gets no super loud in these parts. Trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? So I'm trying to understand this again. The contract is literally just the diagnosis with Dr. Gray. So Dr. Gray is the dark man. Get it? So he has to keep to that contract. And if he keeps to that contract, then the thing can happen in Dercetto. I'm still not understanding the oh, plot Jeremy. fully. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What are you doing? Oh, we're in the attic. Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather, would have just a day ago. <laughs> it gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective, have you encountered any monsters? Tonight. I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. Yeah. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange? So she, in, in this version, else? she's the only one seeing me? the weird stuff. Are you in some kind of danger? Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, detective. I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. All right, now it says we're gonna get a new scene in the attic, but we're not free to enter the attic yet, I don't think. So here it is. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit, temperamentic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the heartward curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet doing so would be the doom of Dercetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. <clears throat> so is he saying that because he's crazy or because he's cursed, the great evil ritual that they're trying to do would not work, right? I think that's what they're getting at, but it's not 100% clear. By the way, this is now openable again. 
All right, so that was a crazy long segment, right? Like, that was a super long segment. <clears throat> and now we have the dagger. That's the new item. And now we're in chapter four. It was almost night when Emily found herself back at Dossetto. What exactly had she been doing? And what was Detective Conby talking about? Did any of her findings make any sense? All she knew was that she wanted to figure out what the three steps to the contract entailed and how this was connected to Dr. Gray. Okay. So anyway, Big Boss has done another super chat. He says, honestly, just off of what you're describing, the documentary sounds incredible and in a unique take in perspective you don't often see or get. Right. What you end up seeing nine times out of ten with these documentaries about me is just reiterating the same shit. The same controversies, the same negative memes, the same shit, <clears throat> and there's nothing new. It's just, here's my take on it, blah, blah, blah. It's like, who cares, though? We've heard the same shit a million times. There hasn't been a new development in five years. Let's be honest. There hasn't. In my story, it's been the same repeatable shit for five years. Basically, ever since the bankruptcy. When that happened, that's that's where it ends, because the bankruptcy, finances, mobile games... Blah, blah. It's all the same. Nothing's changed because I'm not doing anything to cause any drama. I'm literally staying in my lane and just playing games. So there's nothing else to add to the drama they're trying to create. So what they do is they just go in circles now with the same bullshit over and over. It gets so fr tiring. It's just exhausting with the level of shit that they just keep repeating. It's getting rough out there. So now there's no way to get through any of this. I think we're going to eventually go to the basement now. That's the next step is to go to the basement. This opens? Yeah. Th we don't have the basement key yet. We have to get it. Yep. We have to find it. That's next. If we can just get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for me. That's right. She's helping us in her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows who cares about that. She just helped the gym. I've been more worried about that than Detective Combat fella. He been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie jeebies. So. Now this makes a lot more sense. They're trying to do a dark ritual. Somehow Jeremy's presence and, and disturbance is causing the ritual the to be this, held up. Baptiste and Lottie yeah. were back at Desetto as well. Like pieces of Emily's past haunting her. She couldn't figure out if they were on her side or not. And what was Lottie suffering from? She's suffering from, I guess, the infection from whatever this entity is that they're trying to summon, right? I think that's the point that they're getting at here. They're trying to... They're, there's some evil ritual they're going to do, and it's going to summon some kind of a monster or uh, an evil demon or creature. And so, I guess she's being overcome with something. I don't know. It's not clear yet. I don't know if it actually even gets explained, honestly. I guess we got to go back into the dining room. Yep. Yep. Now overrun with rot. What is going on? It's blocked. Now you can't go back the way you just came. <laughs> There's a whole lot of quaking and shaking going on. That's what's going on here. So we want, we can get the medicine out of the box, but we don't need it. Like, we already bypassed the puzzle and never need this. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before... So, they're hoping... Oh, by the way, I can't get the medicine box open at this point. They removed the key. Probably because they realize you don't need it for the puzzle anymore, so they just got it out of your inventory so you're not cluttered anymore. Huh. Okay, uh, 
Break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. So Dr. Gray's office is downstairs, but how are we gonna break in? I can't remember how exactly we break into his office. That's the part that I'm not clear on right now. I don't remember that. Like there's no, it says there's something in the library, but what? A new item. Lunacy. The artist's colony. They're saying that other people who used to live here in this Dursetto went through similar things to the people who are crazy here now. They would have hallucinations and think that they were old people or dead people and shit like that. Uh. It's <clears throat> a lot of room we can't do. I guess we gotta go back upstairs? If we go upstairs, I'm pretty sure we're stuck and there's nothing to do there. There's Dr. Gray's apartment, but we don't do that yet. We gotta get into Dr. Gray's office first. But I don't remember how. There's also new stuff in Batiste's room, new stuff in Jeremy's room. There's a lot of stuff to still do, but I don't remember how to get to those areas. I, like, everything's kind of locked now. I'm not sure. I don't think this is the right way, but let's check it anyway. I'm pretty sure this is not the right way. Oh, I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. I should find another way. Right, we can't do this. Normally, you'd be able to do it. I think Dr. Gray is in there. Maybe I can go snoop around his office then. So she's saying, well, Dr. Gray's in his apartment. You can go to his office. <laughs> okay. So I think we gotta do this. It's blocked. This is blocked too? Maybe the conservatory? Which would be this way? So the time of day has changed. It's now nighttime. We have not been here at nighttime as of yet. Has anything changed with the tree? No. Again. At one point, there was a reference to making a, a offering to the wishing tree. But there is nothing new here whatsoever. And I've been checking. But I still don't know what we're looking for. Okay, anyway... We're still missing one Lon Yap, and then there's three in the new area she's gonna go to that Carnby couldn't go to. But I don't know where the hell the missing Lon Yap is yet. I'm still looking like everywhere and I'm not seeing it. They're never gonna let us go back this way. This is permanently locked. Yep. Once we went through the garage once, that was it. I don't know what the deal was making us go around around like that. Alright, so now we're gonna go into his office. There's gonna should be a way in there this time. Get in from the other side now. Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Gray's office, but where? Here, and we already have it. I don't know the combination. Wait, maybe I do. 913? 923? We know it. Which funny is we already opened this to get the secret item earlier in the game. Oh, you know what it is? We have to go upstairs. We have to go upstairs. And upstairs in one of the rooms that's now opened is the combination. But we already know it. It's 9, 2, 3, I think it was. 9, 2, not 9, 2, 3. Nope. 
nine five four. It was. It definitely started with a nine. Nine. Two. No, it's not. It's not. It can't be nine two because we just went through everything. Nine. Five four. No, it's nine something something. Shit. We looked it up. I looked it up the other day because I already know it. I want to save myself the trouble of having to go upstairs to get it. Because we sequence broke last time, we got the secret item. That you can only do by sequence breaking. So, this is Alone in the Dark. Clerk's office safe code. Here it is. Rather than go upstairs and get the code out of the room, I'll just get it here. Here it is. 913. I was off by one number. It's 913. Okay. 9, 1, 3. It's it funny, we already opened it. We already did it earlier in the game, but now we open it a second time, and now the key's in there for the puzzle. So by opening it earlier in the game, you get the collectible, so you can get all the trophies in the, or the achievements or trophies in the game, and you have to open it a second time. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. So I wonder what she's gonna find in the empty room, because we find out on Carnby's side that it was Carnby staying in the empty room. So what will she find out about the empty room eventually, I wonder? Here we are. Dr. Gray's office. Now let's see if we can find some answers. Okay. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you. We got the France key already. We got the stairwell key. We're getting all the stuff now. Dearest Dr. Manson, Jeremy's treatment. I talking about the dark blotches on his x-rays. That's for the basement. Yup. Look for Jeremy's x-ray in the infirmary. Got it. So what will be upstairs now? Ah! Oh boy. This can't be. Guess what? <laughs> That's cool. Did this happen to Carnby? This is a preview of what's happening next. That we're going to the boat. <clears throat> cool. Alright. Now, we have the stairwell key. That's going to allow us to go downstairs. That's not for this. I need the key. Nope. We don't have this yet. This lets us get into the uh, the final rooms of the game. We can't do this yet. We go back upstairs. <clears throat> we can go to Batiste's room, Jeremy's room, Rosie's room again. We could also return to the sitting room, but that's just going to be a line. Yeah, we already have. Like, there's several things we can do now by going upstairs. <clears throat> Tons of different things. Let's do this stuff fast. Let's see. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Earn her mask. Are you all right, sweetie? <clears throat> do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. How did you... Is that supposed to be my... Ow! <laughs> wow. You should learn your place, little girl. Whoa. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? <laughs> Whoa. Grace. Grace. That's different. So her mask is supposed to be Emily? 
And then she's also mistreating him. What is going on? That was really fucking weird. See, on Emily's side, the drawings are here, but I don't think this is a puzzle. It's a puzzle for Carnby, but not for, for Emily, it doesn't look like. So what the hell was that about? Why did she do that? What was she talking about? I have no idea, but look. The first floor hall key we now have. It fell I'll off a ham. These. At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. Wow. There's something missing. The item's missing that was in there. Carnby gets it on his side. So maybe this is a hint to replay the game with Carnby and get that. Because it's missing in this version. Yeah, maybe. Cassandra's last Jeremy page. Knew. This is the that's the safe combination, which we already had. Here's the puzzle. We can't do this puzzle, but we don't need to because sure we already got this opened done. earlier. But we're done with that. We did a little shortcut jump there. Okay. So earlier, or in the first run, Carnby wakes up in the tub. Right? I wonder if that's going to also happen to her. If she's going to teleport back here into the tub later on in the game. Could be. Okay. Uh, I received a dollar tip. From Kirk. I'll pay off the mortgage or pay off an extreme home makeover. How about I'll buy you a Tesla? Name your price. I'm not, I'm not unbanning you for the chat. <laughs> I'm literally not, not going to unban you on any account. I've already explained the way it works. <clears throat> okay. There's Perosi. There's some stuff in these rooms, perhaps. That's something in the bowl. I'm wondering if on the Carnby side, similar to what just happened, where we did a puzzle and there was nothing in the globe. It says there's something missing. I wonder if that means on Carnby side. It was something we did that was empty, but we got it as Emily. Maybe. Detective Combe, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. We read that in the first playthrough as well. Okay. That's the item here. Here's Batiste through. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the- oh, Mama Loa told you lies. Talking about the, uh, you know, what they're gonna do. This demon or whatever it is. Mama Loa. Mama Loa is a lion mamma jamma. Now this door's locked. Rosie's room. Okay, so now we have the keys to go down to the basement, but we also have the keys to get into those rooms there. Mac McCarthy's roots in the empty room, so we should do that next. Yep. Apparently there's something else in Dr. Gray's office. I don't know what. It claims there's something else there we missed. I don't know what the hell we missed. What does it think we missed? I don't think there's anything new in the mezzanine, but I just want to give it the once over. Like I said, Perhaps something new was added here. That wasn't there for Carnby. I don't see anything. Eventually, we're going to go down to the basement here. Okay. This is how we can get across the hallway. See that? Cool. We can do this now. All right, we looped. We're 
up here. Yeah, we don't want to go to the sitting room. I want to just check out his office one more time because there's just an item in there. I don't know what the hell we missed. I don't think we did. Let's double check. I want to make sure I didn't miss the line. Yeah. What did exactly did we miss in here? I don't think we missed anything. I think the game is full of crap. This is a situation where it's so pink like there's an item, but there's nothing here. You would say if there was the Lonnie app, I mean. I don't see a damn thing anywhere, right? Nothing to interact with, correct? I'm not crazy. Right? Guys, you don't see anything, right? I don't see anything. I swear I've interacted with everything in the room. So, it might be messed up. I'm not seeing anything. Uh -uh. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me. I tried, I looked, I don't see nothing. Okay. Now we're going to this new set of rooms. I haven't been here yet. door open. I think it's the dark man's down there. Yep. There he is. He's telling you to go in there. Because again, the dark man is not who you think he is, right? This place makes me worse. It does. The alcoholics room. Guitar. Alright, we cleared that. Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. Oh, this is different. We can interact with the camera. We could not do that on the car and beside. War photo. This is new. It's one of the new Lan Yaps. This is a new one. Cool. All right. So this is brand new for Emily's side. Henry Castle's Zoetrope. Castle built the Zoetrope as an exercise in animation. He is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce. For now, his Zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while well, quite humorous, it's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. Thank you to the Blimp for gifting a membership, and it went to Ben Dover. <laughs> of all people. Well, congrats, Ben Dover, and thank you, Blimp, for supporting the channel. So, we need to find a component for Ruth's camera. We don't have it yet. This is a new puzzle. So I would say this is it. The chapter four is where things differentiate. The only other difference is in chapter one, <clears throat> when you can actually open the safe much earlier and you get the extra Lan Yap because of it, right? Oh, look. It's back. Can't open the empty room yet. Go in here. Yep. What is going on here? Just like Karn we found. Why have my light on? There's still some money. 
<laughs> Why not? They don't need it. They're ghosts. They don't need the money. I need the money, for God's sakes. Take it. Game playing itself. Nothing in the case. Oh, I got some shotgun shells. So we go down to the basement. They wanted to do it in a very showy way. Now if I open it again... Ha ha! It's gone. How crazy, huh? So Lottie's room has the medicine thing we cannot open. Roos' room needs a puzzle piece we don't have. Gray's office is pink for no good reason. I think it's glitched. The conservatory is now showing as pink. Why would the conservatory be showing as pink all of a sudden? Now that's weird. I have no idea why one floor of the conservatory would now be showing as pink, right? And it's the lower one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the lower level. We were just there and there was nothing to do. So maybe, can I get back there quickly? Before we do anything else, can we go back there? I think so. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait, I went out the wrong door. I wanted to go into the dining room. Yeah, I didn't want to go this way. <clears throat> no. You can't go back to the dining room right now. Locked. Ugh. I could go the other way. All the fucking way back through the stairs. Right? Right? No, there would be no way to get over there right now. Even if I went down the other stairwell. I guess technically if I went to the other stairwell. Which would be a pain in the fucking ass. And I don't know if there's going to be any payoff for doing this. It says there's something in the in the conservatory. Maybe it's a hidden item. Because it wasn't pink earlier. And now it is. It almost makes me feel like they did this on purpose. As a way, only if you backtrack can you find an item right now. What a pain in the ass. Why should be nothing over here? Okay, it's claiming there's something in the conservatory. Keep Mrs. our secrets. Thompson. I understand the last week has been... Damn it, that's it? That stupid note? I found that earlier in the game, too. Oh, my God. It's such a waste of time. There's that nothing important there. There's a stupid note. God damn it. All right, well. I got him. It doesn't really matter. Walk Warriors, did you ever notice? All the survival horror games have the exact same door opening noise. Uh, no. Oh, what the? Look. Now, why is this? Someone knocked the ladder down. What happened with that? So we can't go back this way. Um, no, I mean, so they all have a, a creaky, squeaky door, probably to add atmosphere, but it's not exactly the same noise. Well, that was a pain. Came all the way over here for one stinking no. And then the ladder that would have been the shortcut to get back in has been knocked down. Can't go in there anymore. Listen. Someone's in there talking in the drawing room, but it's locked. <laughs> Damn, I really get the feeling we're going to miss one Lon Yap and miss 
getting them all and getting the whole story. I really am like afraid we're gonna miss that one line yap that I don't know what it is. I really hope we didn't miss it, but it's gonna suck if we did, and we probably did. Uh all right, we gotta keep going. We gotta go all the way back the way we came. Because this is now locked for some reason. Can't go out that way anymore. What are my initial thoughts about this project? What project? What are you talking about, Don Finucci? <laughs> what, are, what are you speaking of exactly? Okay, now it's all linked. The attic's probably locked, right? Am I going for the platinum? There is no platinum. I'm playing on Xbox. But obviously, I I, I want to get the whole story. I want to get all the items. And it seems like that's what, we're on route to doing that. We're only three collectibles away from getting everyone in the game. But one of them, I'll show you. This is the one I'm worried about. I don't know what that one is. I've been looking for it the whole second run, and I haven't seen it yet. I don't know where you get this from. I hope we can still get it. This set, we just got the first one. So I know we have opportunity to get all three. But this is the one I'm really nervous about. Each one of these gives us a secret objective as well, which is really cool. All right, to the basement. Bugs in the basement. Chest that doesn't open. So if you remember, when we were down here with Carnby, there were two rooms that never opened for us, and those rooms were surgery and the 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 side room to the right, which I think is the lab. Yeah, those two rooms never opened at all. So I'm assuming those rooms will open for her. Because they didn't open for him. I need the key. I think they're trying to lobotomize Jeremy. Radiography. Hypothetical. Yep, it's all the lobotomy stuff. <laughs> Surgery room key. Surgery room key? We couldn't do that earlier. Yeah, again, with Carnby, we never got into the surgery room, so this is going to be new. Whispering. Oh, this is new! Holy shit! Whoa! That was totally new. That was totally Silent Hill right there, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this chapter's different. This chapter is different. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in surgery. Oh, no, we did end up in here with Carnby. Because we got this already. This is the fuse. But there was no bloody thing in the side room. The body sitting up. Now we got this puzzle. Record time. Oh, that's better. Here we go again. Here we go again with this puzzle. <laughs> Get ready, everybody. Get ready. 
For the pain, the pain's about to begin again. This puzzle's a major pain in the ass. No fucking shit. God. This is the worst puzzle in the game. It's so frustrating. Just doesn't want to align right. Like, no matter how you nudge it, it just doesn't want to align right. So what it is, is you don't use all of them. Because if you use all of them, they don't work. You have to have the three that are the same size, I think. There it is. You only use the three that are the same size. Two of them are are the wrong size. Alright, we have Jeremy's Darkness. So, we have not missed anything down here. We don't have a key to that door. Still don't have a key to that door. This door doesn't open now for some reason, even though we just opened it. That's it. We've gotten we all we did, we did all that, right? Dr. Grease seemed to put a lot of effort into understanding and treating Jeremy. Did he find anything useful? Or was it all for show? An excuse to torture him? No matter what, Emily thought, maybe she could follow his work to some conclusion about the steps stipulated in the contract. Ugh. Okay, so basically what we do now is we gotta go back, see all these rooms have shit in them, and we can't access any of the rooms. You see that, right? Like, there's just nothing we can do. There's entire areas we haven't accessed yet, and we, we never accessed those with Carnby. Like, there was no way <clears throat> to ever get to those areas with Carnby they weren't part of his story. So I'm wondering, how do we access those? There hasn't been an opportunity yet to do that. And it's frustrating because obviously this is important stuff and we can't do it. It's going to probably have the collectibles and shit that we need. According to this, it's saying there's still items in here, and again, it's obvious there aren't, because there's nothing else interactable in the rooms whatsoever. But I don't know why it thinks that there's stuff in here when there's not. There's definitely nothing left in here, right? Nothing to grab, nothing to interact with, no. <clears throat> Unless there's some mechanic where you shoot this. Nope, that didn't do anything. Oh, uh, that's gonna be it for this room. 
Right? Nothing here? No. No. And all the other doors are locked. We can't access these. The weird part is, we did access this, and now you can't get in it anymore for no good reason. We already, well, I guess we got what was in there, and you can't go back in. So will we ever go back in there? I have no clue. I, uh-oh. Look at this. Will we ever go back in there? I don't know. So now the place starts to flood. We have to escape this. And I think it's going to lead to the next part. And that's what we'll call it a night. The deadly water. Remember, Barnby touched it and died instantly. I was like, it's fucking water. <laughs> Why did he die instantly? It's so stupid. Anything? Nope. Lock. <sighs> now we can access the attic. Hold the door locked. I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. So now here's the thing, okay? The last time we were here, there was very limited stuff that we could do. Now this time around, we have a Lon Yap set. Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic and the only way we could access this, we needed to get that Alone in the Dark book by sequence breaking. You needed to know the combination of the safe earlier in the game before it was ever available to get that book. So I'm curious if this is where we're actually going to take advantage of that. Right? Will we will we actually get that completed now? Will there be something new up here in the attic now that we've gotten this? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But guys, that is it for this session. We need probably one more, I would think. We're, we made great progress tonight. Like, we're in Chapter 4, and the game only has five chapters. So I think next time around, when we play uh, over the weekend... No, I think actually it's going to be Monday night. I think it's Monday night when we're playing this again. Uh, we're going to beat it. The question is, how different is the stuff coming up going to be? Right? Like, are we going to see dramatically different things here with Emily? Because we're about to do one more segment, and then after that, it was the segment with Carnby experiencing his own past that he'd forgotten. Will she have a similar segment that's different for her side? What is this hidden memory that it says we can experience now in the attic that we could not experience on the Carnby side because we had the sequence broken? I don't know, but we're going to find out. I want to say thanks to everyone here who relaxed with me tonight. Thank you to the few who did some contributions. The, the two uh, Big Boss Super Chats, the gifted membership from Blimp, and of course, for the tips that came in. I appreciate that. And next time around, it looks like we will conclude both sides of Alone in the Dark to see the true ending. And uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can still get the three Lon Yaps that we don't have. I'm nervous about that one that looks like a box. The other two, since we just found the first of three, I feel like those are coming in the Emily side playthrough. But I am very nervous about that Lon Yap that looks like a box. I don't know where that was. And I've been looking everywhere, so I guess we have to we have to hope for the best. But all right, guys, thank you. Great stuff. Really enjoyed myself. I hope you did too. I'll see you next time for Alone in the Dark.